And the worldwide pandemic has revealed some major issues with the Chinese government, from the initial cover-up to America's reliance on their supply chain. Here's one America's Stefan Kleinhens. As the nation prepares to reopen, the president's economic advisory board is also looking at ways to bring the strategic supply chain back to the U.S. Bill Haggerty, President Trump, endorsed candidate for the U.S. Senate from Tennessee, and the former ambassador to Japan is now serving on the president's economic advisory board. He's working to find ways to make the United States less dependent on China. Haggerty says China needs to be held accountable. Yeah, as the U.S. ambassador to Japan, I had a great number of dealings with China very familiar with their behavior. And what the cover-up that we've seen today is the greatest cover-up, I think, in human history. I called it the crime of the century, because not only did they put the health and safety of their own people in jeopardy, but now they've unleashed this, this epidemic across the world, creating enormous health issues and tremendous economic damage. Indeed, it is the crime of the century. Haggerty said that while the president has always been tough on China, he says Joe Biden has cozied up to them. Haggerty noted Biden's recent criticism of the president when he closed off flights from China after the outbreak. The president took early action, very decisive action, to protect the United States when he closed off flights coming from China. At that time, Biden called the president a xenophobe, really implied that it was a racist move on the president's behalf and not, not something that should have happened. You know, I, I like to call him Beijing Biden. The Biden family obviously has very close economic ties to China. We know what Hunter Biden did, taking over a billion dollars out of China. So those economic ties probably distort Biden's perspective significantly. He's an apologist for China and very close to them. Haggerty said that this pandemic has exposed the issues with China that President Trump has been addressing for years. He added that the threat of China today is unprecedented and the president hasn't backed down. The Trump campaign is on to something that's important. I don't think Biden can be trusted to stand up to China. We need someone with strength and courage to stand up to China right now. The president has demonstrated that from the time he campaigned for the 2016 election, and he's held to his word. He stood up to China like no other president has. And I'm, I'm talking about both Republican and Democrat administrations. He stood at a time when we need to, we need the president to stand up more than ever. If you look at China's 2025 plan, they are very aggressive in their efforts to really press their regime out into the world, and the president is standing up against that. Stefan Kleinhens, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.